Welcome back to Giant Monster Games. My name is Ted, and today we're playing The Hunted Orb. Alright, so it looks like we're going to go first. And it's not a perfect hand, but we do have a turn 1 and turn 2 play. So, let's keep this. Okay, so let's go over game plan real quick while our opponent's deciding whether or not to keep. Okay, so we're going to go with a turn 1 duress. Let's see what our opponent's on. Okay, our opponent is running <laughs> multiple counters. So they have some kind of a Grixis control deck, it, is, it looks like. Unfortunately, they have Culligan's Command, which is really going to hurt our orb. So I think we are going to take the Culligan's Command because we don't want to have to fight over the orb. And we're going to pass it over to our opponent. Okay, so our opponent plays a Flooded Strand and cracks it. Okay, so they cast Ancestral Visions. And they pass it over to us. So, luckily we have another Duress. So we can lead on that. Probably taking Counter out of our opponent's hand. I think that's the move to do right now. Just, of course they are tapped out. You know what, let, let's, let's throw out the Orb. It's not like they're going to cryptic next turn and bounce it, so... We'll, we'll get the orb out while it's safe and counter-free. <clears throat> okay, our opponent plays a polluted delta. And they're going to pass the turn over to us. We have a swamp. So now we really have some decisions to make here. They have mana leak available, and I know they're going to play it, so there's no point in running out an avatar of discord into it, so we're just going to dress our opponent. It'd be great if we had a creature to follow it up with, but... Okay, so our opponent's going to crack their delta. Okay, they're going to grab a blood crypt untapped. Probably bolt us. Nope. Are they, They're really going to mana leak the dress. Okay, <laughs> well, if it gets rid of a counter, I probably would have grabbed it with dress anyways, so... Thanks for shocking yourself. And we will pass the turn to our opponent. We'll leave up Shred Memory. I don't know, in case they try to flash something back. I doubt they will. Okay, so... I don't... I didn't realize how many suspensions are on that. I think it's got four left. Okay, so Serum Visions. I love the artwork on Shred Memory. I'm just a big fan of the color purple, so I'm kind of biased. Okay, so they're going to follow that up with another Serum Visions. All the cantrips for our opponent. Good thing is our opponent will be like shields down so we can run out a avatar. Now unfortunately Bolt will stop it and we do know that they have Bolt so yeah. And here comes the Bolt and there goes our avatar which is fine we knew they had it. I could have transmuted and some of you are probably wondering why. I'd just like to explain that Shred Memory's got a very good um, like foothold in this match against um, our opponent because we can, in response to a Snapcaster, I mean, I guess there's no reason for me to hold it right now because I have Orb out, but say he destroyed it with Coligan's Commander, I didn't have one. Shred Memory can stop our opponent. Like, okay, so when they cast Snapcaster Mage, uh, they have to target a card in the graveyard to cast a flashback. And before his ability resolves, I could use Shred Memory and get rid of that card. I mean, like I said, it's not really useful right here, per se, but, you know. Alright, so our options are to throw out an Eater of Days, or we can throw out an Avatar. I, I'm almost tempted just to throw out the Eater, just because we can. Or we could save it as a Trump card. We have the mana for it, so... I'm going to throw out another Avatar. Our opponents probably go... Nope, they do not have a counter. Okay, that or they're going to bolt. I'm not really sure. If they don't bolt, then I know for sure they don't have a counter. Yep, here comes the bolt. <clears throat> Your turn, opponent. Next turn, they're probably going to have cryptic mana. Okay, so... They get to draw three. 
Now they might have that counter. Alright, so we have some interesting choices, but for right now, I think I am going to... <clears throat> I'm going to run Sundial the Infinite out, just so I can do it and, you know, stop them from bolting things. I'll leave up Shred Memory in case they try to snap bolt or something at end of turn. Actually, I wouldn't even need to. If they try flashing in Snapcaster, unless it's in response, I'm going to... Okay, yeah. Alright, so we're going to see if they're going to try to do anything at our end step. They're cracking the fetch, and I am going to get rid of that fetch land. Oh yeah, so that's something I forgot to mention in the deck deck. Since this is going to exile everything from the stack, they don't get a land. <coughs> so they just pretty much <laughs> molten rain themselves. Okay, so our opponent plays a watery grave. Alright, so our options are to run out the Eater into a counter, which I'm not a big fan of because right now they have Cryptic, but I can transmute for something, and I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at what we can transmute for because, I don't know, there's no point in me sitting here thinking about it without looking at a list when I know I'm going to do it anyways. <clears throat> Now, it's the ability of the card, so they can't really respond to it unless they have, like, a stifle. So that's why I'm not worried about them countering this, per se, because it's not getting cast. So they're reading it, and they're trying to figure out what it does. Okay, so I feel like the best bet here would probably be Hunted Horror. Just because I can pay for Leak. So they can't get me with Leak. I know he has Cryptic. I know he has Cryptic. But this is assuming we actually get rid of Cryptic. You know what? Or I can make him waste his Cryptic right now. Uh... Yeah. I don't want hit. I don't... It's so tough. I'm gonna just pass it because I'm gonna try to lure out Cryptic with, Cryptic with Eater because I can't pay for the Leak. Okay, so it's our opponent's turn. What do you have? They're going to play a Scalding Tarn. Now let's see if they learn from their mistakes and crack it on their turn. They did, okay. And they're going to snap Caster Mage, which is exactly... Well, actually, it's not going to do anything. They're literally running him out as a 2-1. Perfect. And now they don't have Cryptic Mana, so I can safely throw out the Horror. Which is fantastic. They have no idea what they've just gotten themselves into. They're probably holding on to a Terminate. There's no way they didn't draw one. If As long as it's main board. It's just... They've drawn so many cards. So, here goes the Horror. And I think I'm going to Transmute another Horror. Because Transmute can only be done at Sorcery Speed. And that's just in case they deal with that. This might be enough to just end the game right now. We'll pull out another Horror. And we will pass the turn to our opponent. Okay, so they're going to play a Steam Vents tapped. Can't afford to go down that life. Okay, they're going to Thought Scour themselves. Let me pop out those graveyards. I apologize already. <laughs> Pulling an Adrian. Our opponent's graveyard's a little more important than ours. Okay, so they're going to Fatal Push that, which is fine. Because that's why we got the backup. Okay, our opponent's going to get in for two. Now, I do have the mana to pay for Leak. So let's run out another horror. And if they want to waste a Leak on it, they can waste a Leak on it. I can throw out the Eater of Days. Because it's either they have it or they don't. I'm assuming they do. But, yeah, let's give it a shot. They did not have the leak. See, sometimes you get rewarded for just winging it. <laughs> Let's go. They gotta have a pretty explosive turn to deal with this right now. Okay, so they did have the terminate. They were holding it, and they're gonna use it right now. As much as they'd like to use it on our turn. <clears throat> we know for a fact our opponent is still holding Cryptic. 
So if we can any in any way bait that out before they do a bounce or a cryptic draw even. Okay, so they're going to bounce and they're going to draw. Okay, so now we have just three unknowns in their hand. I'm going to run out the sundial. I'm assuming they don't have a spell snare. They might. Oh, they do. Okay. Fair enough. I'm going to pretend that this is not a swamp in my hand. And I'm going to swing in with the horror. Opponent takes it, and they're down to three. They're going to play a polluted delta, and I doubt they'll crack it. So that leaves two unknowns in hand. Okay, so we're going to play the the mystery game. Our opponent doesn't know what we have. So we're going to go straight to combat and see if they can deal with it. Oh, okay. What do you have, opponent? Cryptic. Okay, so they're going to bounce their own Snapcaster to their hand. <coughs> And they're going to tap our horror. Okay. Well, they do say that you can't lose the game if you have a cryptic. At least that turn anyways. So they do crack the delta. What are they going to grab? I can't imagine that they actually need mana for anything. They're just doing it to thin their deck. Okay, another snapcaster, which is fine by us because our orb completely removes his ability. Okay, they have two cards in hand. They're going to cast one. Tassiger, okay. But unless they draw removal, which it doesn't appear like they have, I'm not sure how this will save them. They have to have another cryptic. They absolutely have to. That or a kill spell. We'll, f we'll see. We're gonna run this out here. And here's the, what is this, the third cryptic? Yeah, this is the third cryptic. Okay, so they're going to counter a bounce. Just fine by us. Actually, let me cancel that action. Throw out a land so that way I can pay for leak, just in case. I don't know why I did that. I mean, it doesn't matter. But they had no cards in hand. I got to pay attention to that. Okay, so we know they're down to zero cards in hand. Zero answers. Let's see if they top deck. I'm surprised this deck's giving a deck like Grixis Control a run for its money right now. This is like a top tier deck. Okay, so we get to choose a non-land card and return it to its owner's hand. So let's not give them Cryptics, and instead let's give them Ancestral Visions. Let's see. Yeah, so we gave them Ancestral Visions. <laughs> I figured it'll be way too slow for them to use. All right, let's move to combat, and we'll swing in. There we go. And they're down to one. Let's see what they got. They had the bolt. Nice opponent, nice. Okay, what did they top deck? We also need to top deck. They don't know that, but we also need to top deck something, anything. Okay, they top decked a Tassiger. Good for them. Bad for us if we can't draw anything worthwhile, though. Sudden spoiling will buy us some time. And we'll pass it to our opponent. Okay. So they're asking for another card to put back in their hand. I will give them... Looks, looks like Thought Scour is probably the best bet at the moment actually no ancestral visions yeah you can have that <coughs> sorry I didn't realize that they cast it again already okay so we know they have an unknown and an ancest ancestral ancestral visions all right so our opponent is going in for a big swing if they come back from one I will be amazed Maybe not so amazed, because we're drawing completely dead draws. 
Well, might as well run out a second orb. We have no other plays. Okay. Let's keep giving them things that are hopefully not too good for them. So, Thought Scour. Which they're going to cast right now. So in their hand they have Thought Scour, they have Ancestral Visions, and they're going to make me give them some more back. We'll give them another Thought Scour. If we can pull a Avatar of Discord or an Eater of Days, that would be phenomenal. Okay, so they drew a Serum Visions. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to take our beats. Come on, deck. Eater of Days. Okay, so how many cryptics are in their grave? One, two, three, four. They are out of cryptics. We have the mana to pay for leak. Let's go. <clears throat> we don't have the mana to pay for double leak, though. Did this finally get them? This has been an up and down game. I thought we were totally just dominating. And then we just hit that dry spell of drawing nothing but lands and... Okay, so our opponent's got a Culligan's Command. Uh-huh. Okay, so that really puts a damper on things. Ouch! They just happen to have their second Culligan's Command. I doubt they're running more than two. Well, I say it like they just happen to have it, but, you know, they only have 11 cards left in their deck. It's bound to happen. Okay, so they're getting that Ancestral Visions back, and that really stinks. Okay, so they're thinking they're going to go in for the win right here. And we are going to cast Sudden Spoiling to save us. Aw, oh, man, I really wish our deck didn't fizzle. This would have been so sweet. We had so many good draws. And that does it. We're going to have to move on to the sideboard. Wow, they came back from one. Okay, so what are some things we can bring in against this deck? And our opponent scoops up the match. This has been Ted with Giant Monster Games, and I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.